has but we'll have to do. Because as far as flooring goes, I don't really have much more of an option than to just use what I have. Which is all good. There we go, nice contrasts. Put the oak wood in there, put the dirt in there. Probably want to make a hat out of that leather. No, I might want to make a book. Make a bucket. Or two. Yeah, I'm basically just doing some rather boring stuff right now. It's not really boring for me because I haven't played Minecraft Survival in a while. It might be boring to you as the audience. If it is, you can just skip past this boring shit and get on with your life. It's not like you, you have to watch me. Anyway, time to make a farm. Let's see. Let's take all the dirt I can find. And fill this place out, only to get the foundation of my farm started. So the first thing I'm probably gonna make is a sugarcane farm. So I got kind of my little own idea for what it should look like. I've done it before in one of my maps. And you might have done this before, so you know what I'm doing, but if you haven't done it before, this could be a great idea for you. So basically my idea is you basically have four blocks of water in kind of this fashion. And then I'll do one more row. You kind of just fill it all in with water. Fill it all in. And then, well, I don't have sugar yet. But basically, if you can see what I'm doing. I'm taking what I've made as an idea because sugar game can only grow or sugar cane can only grow on one spot near water. So if you were to do this You could do this, you could do this, you could do this, and you can do that. And now, what you'll do every corner is you put a torch so it's all lit up and nice. So you basically put the torches where the sugar game won't fit, or sugar cane. And then you basically continue that pattern until. until you're done with it, really. So I'll just show you kind of the idea of it. See, as you might guess, I made this before so I know exactly what I'm doing. But basically, 
you just take all the shit you need. I'm, I'm gonna need all that torches anyway. But basically, you just place them where the sugar cane will go. And I got a nice lit up farm for sugar cane. Now, actual crops have a different idea. But it's generally the same. You just. just in actual farmland. You can have it close to water. without it being stupid. <sighs> oh god. Again. Basically, once it's all done, it'll all be stacked with sugar cane. It'll all look really wonderful. And I think it's, I guess, the most efficient way for me to make one, because you can have two sugar canes, so you fit eight around one, and then, as long as you have a bunch of torches, you can just place them in the middle. So you've got a nice, bright place, so mobs won't spawn there. And sugar cane, sugar cane has some pretty cool uses. You have... You have sugar, you have... You have sugar, which you use for cake. You have paper, which you use for books. Or maps. Basically... Sugarcane has quite a bit of uses, so that's pretty much what I'm <laughs> taking advantage of by making that sugarcane farm. And I think... As a second episode, I think this is a pretty decent place to stop it. So if you enjoyed this very special long recording session for multiple episodes, please subscribe if you want more. I will be doing more of this stuff and if you want you can just, I guess, private message me, tell me you're amazing or something. Don't send me bot crap. Please don't send me bot crap. I'll just fucking not care. Oh, you're so great. Here, check out my channel. That's so typical. It's really annoying. But yeah, this has been Man at Spaniel. Offline. And I am signing out of Minecraft. What a wonderful view.